Hey, welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. Smart Quiz Builder is the world's most powerful AI-powered quiz and survey plugin for WordPress. Today, I'm so excited to let you know that uh, we have taken SQBs, one of SQBs most popular features, uh, which is the ability to automatically generate a PDF report, a fully customized and personalized PDF report based on the quiz outcome. We have taken it to a whole another level. With this new update we have made, we have now added an advanced PDF builder that will allow you to build out you know, your PDF, add as many images as you want, and add whatever text you want. And you can reposition, reorder your slides, and you can create your PDF once and use it again and again across different quizzes. As long as that PDF is relevant to the outcome of different quizzes, you can use it again and again. You don't have to keep creating your PDF. It looks amazing, and it's so easy to set this up. Let me take you to the back end to show you what we have done and how we have taken the basic uh, PDF editor we used to have before, how we have upgraded it, and how you can now use the advanced PDF builder to build out all kinds of PDF report. You know, even if you don't want to add any quiz specific stuff in it, even if you don't want to add, you know, quiz results, outcome, questions, answers, all of that, you just want to build out just a regular PDF, you can do that too. Let me take you to the back end to show you how it works and how easy it is to set this up. This is the back end of Smart Quiz Builder. This is the Manage Quizzes page. Here I'm going to show you this quiz. I'm going to edit this quiz and show you how I'm using the new advanced PDF builder that you will find here, how I have used it to create my PDF and how I make it available for download and different things you can do with it. But uh, you can do this with existing quizzes if you already have a quiz and you want to use the advanced PDF builder to build out your PDF report and connect it to your outcomes. You can do that too. You can edit your existing quizzes and you can update it and add the new PDF to it. Or you can, you know, do this with a brand new quiz as well. You can click on add a new quiz and use any of these options. And you can use AI option to build out your quiz or just build it from scratch. So there are a couple of things I need to tell you before we start. One is to use this advanced PDF editor. We are going to need our AI quiz add-on because we are going to be integrating AI options into it. So you're going to need our AI powered quiz add-on, all right? So if you have not signed up for it, you can go to smartquizbuilder.com slash AI to sign up for it. And once you have signed up, be sure to download it and activate this AI powered quiz on your site. All you have to do is just activate it and then you'll be able to use the advanced PDF features uh, that we have now added in SQB, all right? That's number one. Number two, you're going to also need SQB's PDF add-on. And this is something you already probably have if you're using the PDF option in SQB. If you don't, this is a free plugin. You can just download it from the same place as where you download SQB from. Download it, upload and activate it on your site. These are the two plugins you're going to need to use this PDF feature. Now, if you don't want to use the advanced PDF option, no problem. You can continue using the basic editor, which we already have. No changes there. You can continue to use the PDF option as you have been using, all right? Let me show you how this works. I'm going to edit this quiz. All right, so this is the basic settings. Give your quiz a name, description, select the type of quiz. Now, I actually used the AI option in SQB to create this quiz, right? The title of the quiz, how much do you really know about WordPress? I got AI to generate uh, the outcomes for me, three outcomes and a few questions for me. All right, display settings. I'm just using all the basic options here. Nothing special there. Lead generation, connected to your email platform right here, whichever platform you want to connect SQB with. You can connect it here. You want to display, you know, different types of charts based on the quiz outcome results to show them the results in the form of a chart. You will have to first enable this option. If you want to show this in the PDF report, make sure this one is enabled. That's what I'm doing here. I want to display charts in my PDF report, so I have enabled this option. So if you have a scoring quiz, but there are no correct or incorrect answers in the scoring quiz, you just want to score the points, you can turn this off. In my case, this is a test and there are correct and incorrect answers. So this is enabled and I have set this to yes. And what do you, where do you want to display the correct answers? I want to display the correct answers only on the final results page. And the most important thing is this enable the PDF download option. If you want to allow users to download the automatically generated PDF report, you want to show them a button, right? So they can download it. And you can also send them the PDF as an attachment, right? You can also do this as well. So here, this is the download button. They're going to see on the outcome screen. You can fully customize it. You can change the color and everything. Now, say that you do not want to allow them to download the PDF, but you want to send it as a PDF attachment. In that case also, enable this, right? Enable this, but just don't add the download shortcode on the outcome screen. So they won't be able to download it on the outcome screen, but SQB will still send out the PDF as an attachment in the email that gets sent out to the, to the participants when they complete the quiz, all right? 
That's all I have done here. And in this case, I have selected template file. All right, so this is the start screen. And uh, here I'm actually using a background image. You can see here, I have uploaded an image. This is a background image. I have added this color, added some opacity to it. That's why it looks like this. If you want, you can change it like this, all right? That's what I have done here. And uh, the width and the height, this is a full width template. I'm using 100% width and 100% height. And that's what I have done, all right? I wanted to take over the entire screen, but it's up to you. You know, width, height, all of that you can control here using the customizer at the top. And I actually created this quiz using AI, but you don't have to. You can create it however you want. You can create it, you know, from scratch, or you can use one of our templates. All right, so there are four questions in this quiz. You can see question one is a single choice, question two, single choice, question three, a single choice, and question four is a multiple choice question. Now, question one, what is WordPress? And this is the correct answer. If they get it correct, they get a point for it. And question two, what's the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com? Common confusion among pe amongst people. All right, so the max they can get is like four points in this quiz. And the lead generation, here you can see almost there, where can we email you the results? Outcome screen, there are three outcomes, all right? WordPress beginner, zero to one, if their score is really low, they are uh, considered WordPress beginner. WordPress intermediate, if they get a score of two, then they get this and outcome three, if they get three to four, they are WordPress pro, right? WordPress expert. So that's how this is. Now, the important thing for you to notice here is that there is a download PDF short code I have added. And this is what you got to add if you want to show the download button on your outcome screen, all right? So if you don't want to allow them to download PDF, then you don't have to add this here. Even though it's enabled and you just want to email them the report, then just don't add it. But if you want to allow them to download it, once they complete the quiz, then add it here, all right? That's what I have done here. And you will find all the short codes under personalization right here. You'll find the download PDF right here. Copy this, enter this right here, wherever you know you want the download button to show up. That's what I've done here, all right? So they can download a report here. So what I need for this quiz is I need like three different reports, right? One for the WordPress starter, beginner. I want another one for intermediate people, another one for the experts, right? So I need to create three different reports and I want to allow them to download the report that's specific to them based on their knowledge, right? That's what I need to do with this. That's what I want to do with this quiz. So what we had before was that you could just click on this editor, right? Right here, you can see, and it's still there. You can still use the old way, right? So if you don't have our add-on, our AI add-on, and you want to continue using the old way, that's not a problem. You can just click on it. So when you click on it, you're going to find both of these options, advanced editor and the standard editor. If you don't have our AI add-on, you won't be able to use this. In that case, just click on it is going to allow you to add different content for each one of your outcomes, right? You don't have a whole lot of options in terms of adding different images and reordering the images and stuff like that, but you can continue building it like just like the way we had before. But if you have the AI add-on, you can use the advanced PDF editor and it's amazing. Let me show you what we have done here. So when you click on it, right, it's going to say, okay, what's the outcome? So here you can select the outcome, for example, outcome one, WordPress beginner. Okay, what PDF do they get? right? So here I have connected it to WordPress beginner. Now, when you do this first, right, when you're using the advanced builder, you're not going to have the PDF yet, right? You got to create the PDF first. So you can click on this or you can directly go to the PDF editor from the menu right here. You can see this icon here, click on it to build out your PDF. All right, so you got to do that first before you can connect that PDF to the outcome. So here you are not really editing the PDF in the outcome, right? When you click this editor, all you're doing is mapping out the PDF to the right outcome. You're not building the PDF here anymore because now you have a whole bunch of options when it comes to your PDF. So you can build it out right here. You can see here, you can click on it. It will bring you to our advanced PDF builder. And this is where you can build out your PDF. So far what I have done, I have only added one PDF for WordPress beginner. I have not added the other two because I wanted to show you how to do it and I'm going to build it now so you can see how I do it. I created one just to show you how it works. So WordPress beginner, right? Let me edit this and if you don't have one yet, you can click on this to build it. But here I have one, so let me edit this. So first screen is like, okay, what's the name of the PDF, right? So it's going to let you name the PDF and when your users download the PDF, this is the name of the PDF they're going to see. And you can select one of the types, right? Portrait type or landscape. You can select both of these options. Now, what I did was I created some of these images in Canva, right? That's what you can do. You can create your cover image and other images in Canva or whatever tool you want to use. And then what you can do is you'll see this plus icon, click on it. It will let you upload an image. 
and also add text content. You can create an image slide or you can create a text slide. That's what you can do now, all right? So you can say add an image and you can upload whatever image you want. All of these images, as you can see, I have already uploaded it to WordPress media. You just select the image and it's going to show up right here, all right? And it's going to become part of the PDF. So you can see it added it here, right? Slide number six. Let's say you want to make it slide number three. You can just reposition it like that, right? There's a text slide here. Say that you want text slide to be number two. You can do that too, right? Just move things around and create your PDF the way you want it. So the first slide here is uh, this slide, right? I have, um, this is for the beginners, so that's what the name is. Second slide here is the text slide. So text slide is where you can now personalize it, right? And you can add as many text slides as you want. So you can add an image, text slide, then add another image, then text slide. That's up to you how you do it. You click on this plus icon, it will let you add text slide or image slide. So each slide can be whatever you want it to be. And so if it's a text slide, you can add, you can fully personalize the contents of this text slide. So here I'm saying, thanks for completing the quiz. Here are your quiz results. Here's your outcome. And here are your answers for the scoring quiz. So you can personalize it. You can show them rank. You can show them their score. You can show all kinds of things. All the personalization tags that we support is right here. Click on that. And it's going to show you everything we got here, all right? And, and we'll also add a search option here so you can easily find whatever it is you're looking for. And you can see there are chart options as well. So you can add a bar chart, pie chart, all of that stuff. Now, if you want to use the chart option here, just remember that in SQB Managed Quizzes, in the display settings, be sure to enable the chart option. If you have not enabled the chart option on the outcome screen, for it to show on the outcome screen, it's not going to show in the PDF because all the calculations happen only if you enable that setting. So be sure to enable it in the display settings, and then you can use all of these chart shortcodes, right? So let's go ahead and add it right here. That's it, all right? And if you want to add the chart on a different screen, you can. And if you have some charts you have already created in Canva, then you can also upload it, all right? So you can build out your PDF like this. Next, that's it. Your PDF is ready. You can preview it, and uh, that's it. But when you preview it, right, it's going to show you the shortcodes as is. You can see the images, but you can't really see, um, see the actual content until you actually take the quiz, and then you download the PDF. That's when you're going to see it, all right? That's it. Now, if you go to list, you're going to find all the PDF. So right now, we only have one for the beginner level. We don't have a clone option yet, but we're going to add a clone option. So if you want to create the next PDF and it was very similar to the previous one, except some things, some, some slides are different, you'll be able to clone it soon, all right? All right, so I'm going to build out another PDF now, create a new PDF, and this time, I'm going to do it for the intermediate level. So this is how you would build out your PDF, all right? Go to the PDF builder and give your PDF a title, add an image or text. Let's go ahead and add some images. So upload files and add it, right? WordPress intermediate. So what's going to be the second slide? Another image. And you can upload multiple images all at once. I'm just going to pick some random images similar to the first one because this is just an example. All right, so I selected three images all at once and it's going to show up here. And if you want to add text slide, you can add, add content, whatever you want here, you can add it here. So let's go ahead and add the chart here. So we want to add three different charts, right? Spider bar, spider chart, bar chart, and pie chart. Let's go ahead and add it here. So our second PDF is done, all right? So if you create your slides already, you know, in Canva or whatever tool you use, it becomes really easy to put together the PDF and personalize it uh, specific to the quiz taker's outcome, all right? Create a new PDF again. This time we're going to call it WordPress Pro and next. All right, add an image and upload other images if you want. So let's go ahead and just select the same ones. Done. We have two images here. Save it. Done. So we now have three different PDF reports, right? Beginner, Intermediate, Pro. And as I mentioned, we're going to add a clone feature so that you can just clone it and make necessary updates to the other ones. Now, you can use these PDF in any of your quizzes, right? Even though I created it here for the WordPress test, if you want to use the same exact report in a different quiz, you can do that too. So now I'm going to edit my quiz and connect the PDF to the right outcome. So that you have to do. So let's go ahead and edit this quiz. And this you have to do in the outcome screen. So this is the SQB outcome screen. Click on this editor right here. And here we are going to connect the outcome to the right PDF. So outcome one is connected to WordPress beginner. Outcome two, WordPress intermediate is going to be connected to WordPress intermediate. Save it. 
Next, outcome three, WordPress Pro. We're gonna connect it to WordPress Pro and done. All right, that's it. That's all you have to do. It's all connected. Everything is done. Now uh, we can test it. Now another thing you can do, now, another thing you can do here in the notifications tab, you can send out an email to your students with the PDF attachment, right? So to do that, you have to enable student email right here and enter the details here and send them the quiz results, your quiz report, whatever you want to call it. SQB will automatically attach the right PDF based on their outcome. This is my page builder. I have inserted the short code for this quiz right here on this page. And let me show you the front end now. All right, so you can see here, this is how it looks. It looks pretty nice, right? What I did was actually, I reduced the width and height right here. You can see I made the width uh, this much and height 51 VH. And this is how I wanted to show because I have added a background image at the back. You can see this is my page builder, right? You can see this is a background image and I inserted the short code in middle so that it uses up this much space. So it's up to you if you wanna use a full width template in SQB, in which case you can increase the width to full width and full height. But I decided to do it like this, where I have a background image and I wanted to insert the short code here because uh, it looks nice. It looks pretty nice like this. All right, so let's go ahead and test it. What is WordPress? I'm just gonna pick a random answer, incorrect answer here, incorrect answer, incorrect, incorrect, right? So I'm just gonna pick all incorrect answers and I should get the outcome of WordPress beginner. That's what I wanna see, all right? You can see you got a score of zero out of four and this is how it looks, it looks amazing, right? And the chart, everything is here. And download the PDF, all right, you can see, this is a PDF, this is how it looks, this is the first page, this is the content, right? We added this and then the chart, that's what we did, all the charts here. And then the rest of the content is here, rest of the content is here, you can see, all of this is here, that's it. This is how easy it is to build out PDF. Let's go ahead and test it one more time for the expert level, right? Continue. What is WordPress? I'm going to pick the right answer. What is the difference? Let's pick the right answer. Which of the following is not a type of content? Let's pick the right answer. And what is a plugin? Let's pick the right answer. Let's go ahead and opt in. We got four out of four, all right? I got all answers correct. And this is the report and download the PDF. Let's go ahead and download the PDF. And this is a PDF, you can see WordPress export. And this is how it looks. In the export version, right, this is the back end. I didn't add any text, actually. I forgot to add text. So that's why it's not showing any text content. But if you wanna add chart and stuff like that, you can do that here. So you can use SQB's PDF editor to build out regular PDF without any personalization and without any content specific to, you know, specific to that outcome, but just as generic PDF, you can do that too, right? But if you want to personalize it using their name, because now you can personalize using the merge tags, right? You can create your PDF, you can fully personalize it. So you can add text content and you can, you know, say hi, whatever, right? So you can do all that stuff now. So you can see the personalization tag here for name is here. So copy this and you can say hi name. You can do all this stuff now because you can fully personalize the PDF based on uh, their outcome. So this is how easy it is. This is how amazing this brand new PDF feature is. And as I said, you know, with all the AI stuff we have added in SQB, creating a quiz is easier than ever. For example, like this quiz, right? I actually built it out using uh, using uh, AI. I didn't even do it manually. Obviously, you should make it your own and you should update the content once you get uh, AI to generate it. You, can st you should still update it and make it your own based on you know your knowledge and your experiences. But in my case, this is just a demo quiz, right? So I just used AI to build it, just to add a new quiz, select this, say start. You can use the API version, you can use the chat GPT version, which is also super simple. All I did here was, this was my quiz topic, was the main goal of this quiz, generate a quiz title. It uses AI to do it. And uh, how well do you know WordPress? I'm gonna select that. How many outcomes? In this case, three outcomes, for example. Now you can select all of these options. These are the outcomes. You can say how many questions you want. So here, let's say no open-ended question, five single choice and no multiple choice. Whichever questions you want, you can select. Whichever ones you don't want, you don't have to use it. You can get it to generate more. That's it. Your quiz is ready and you can get it to create the quiz. You can select whatever template you want. In my case, I picked template five. And now you can edit the quiz and add the background image and all that stuff.
Now here, this is how it looks by default, but say that you want to upload a background image. You can just click on background. Here I have selected this image and then I added this color and increased the opacity so it doesn't look like that. And now it's easy to read and then I change the color to white. So you can change the title color and you can change the answer colors as well if you want. Otherwise it looks nice by default. And you can change the colors of the button and stuff like that. You can change the button color right here. This is how it works and it's so easy to create a quiz like this. It will give you a short code at the end. You can adjust the width and the height if you want and insert the short code on, uh, on a WordPress page and you will have your quiz uh, ready in no time. So to summarize, if you want to use the PDF option, then first thing is you need the AI powered quiz add-on. Sign up for it if you have not done so already. Activate it on your site. Download and activate it. And it's going to show up right here. And then um, go to the display settings of your quiz and make sure the PDF option is enabled. And if you want to use the charts in your PDF and display charts, make sure charts option is enabled as well. And then the PDF stuff is right here. Enable PDF, make sure this is enabled. Send PDF as an attachment. If you want to send it as an attachment, enable that. Customize the button, right? That's step two. So first thing is to activate the PDF add-on. Second thing is to enable the PDF option in display settings. Third thing is in the outcome screen. Make sure on each one of your outcome screens, you got to add this short code so they can download the PDF. Download PDF short code, right? Add it wherever you want the download button to show up. And I have done that for all of my outcomes. All right, so that's step number three. Step number four is to actually create the PDF. If you want to use the advanced editor, go here and click on it. It's going to bring you to the advanced PDF editor. Click on create a new PDF and build out your PDF, right? Create your PDF based on the outcomes. Create as many PDF as you need right here. And then you can go back to SQB outcome screen and then um, you can click on this icon here and connect the PDF you have created to the right outcome. That's all you have to do, connect the PDF to the right outcome. Right, Each one of your PDF should be connected to the right outcome right here. Once you have done the mapping, you're all set and you can test it. Insert the short code on a WordPress page and test it out to make sure the PDF looks good and you're all set. This is how it works. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, do let me know. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to do so, this way you'll be the first to know when I publish new videos like this. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you so much for making the time to watch this video. I'll be back soon with more. Bye for now.